Localization of brainstem strokes can be a nightmare. Fortunately, it can easily be done in four steps. Step number one, determine the level of brainstem involvement. This is easy. Write down the cranial nerves and divide it into three groups as follows. One, two, three, four in group one, five, six, seven, eight in group two, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve in group three. Exclude cranial nerves one and two as they do not have brainstem nuclei. The first group with cranial nerve 3 and 4 denote nuclei in midbrain. The second group with cranial nerve 5, 6, 7, 8 denote the nuclei in pons. And the third group with cranial nerves 19, 11, and 12 denote the nuclei in medulla. Step 2. Determine whether lesion is medial or lateral. If it is a medial lesion, it involves the four ramps. Medial lemniscus, which carries fine touch and proprioception, motor pathway or corticospinal tract. Medial longitudinal fasciculus, which coordinates the eye movements between different cranial nerve nuclei, and motor nuclei of cranial nerves, which can perfectly divide 12, that are 3, 4, 6, and 12. If it is a lateral lesion, it involves the four asses spinothalamic tract, which carries pain and temperature, spinocerebellar tract, whose lesion causes ataxia, sympathetic tract, whose lesion causes Horner syndrome and sensory nucleus of cranial nerve 5, which carries sensation of face. Step number 3. Lesions of nuclei cause ipsilateral pathology, while lesions of tracts cause contralateral pathology in the brain stem. Step number 4. Recognize the exceptions for midbrain and pontine strokes. Exception number 1. Cranial nerve 7 loops around cranial nerve 6 nuclei. So, cranial nerve 7 can be involved in medial lesions as well. Exception number 2. Lesions of red nucleus, which is present in the medial midbrain, can lead to contralateral ataxia-like features. Exception number 3. All tract lesions in brainstem cause contralateral pathology except for spinocerebellar tract, which causes ipsilateral pathology. So let's bring it all together. Suppose a person has deviation of tongue to left side, with right-sided fine touch and proprioception loss, and right-sided hemiplasia. Where is the lesion? Step 1. As cranial nerve 12 is involved, it is in medulla. Step 2. As medial lemniscus and motor pathway are involved, so the lesion is in medial side. Step 3. The lesion is in left side as there is ipsilateral left-sided cranial nerve involvement and contralateral right-sided tract involvement. Step 4. No exceptions apply as the lesion is in medulla. So, the diagnosis is left medial medullary syndrome. This video is based on the famous brainstem rule of four proposed by Dr. Gates. Please like and subscribe.